Up next, I would like you guys to welcome up my good friend, Diane Miner. Secrets. Um, but as I get older, the more things I have to do, and the less time I have to do them, and the less stuff I get done, I even fell asleep texting. <laughs> there was a reason for that. At my age, sex texting will put you to sleep. <laughs> I found out too that my accomplishments aren't relevant anymore. I wrote books. 101 uses for whiteout. <laughs> you can't read it because I wrote it in whiteout. <laughs> and how to diaper a baby while rotary dialing the fire department. <laughs> okay, I caused the fire sterilizing baby bottles and probably because I sniffed too much whiteout. <laughs> they hadn't invented meth yet. <laughs> well, now those diapers are full of gel, and they have Velcro fasteners, and uh, we're going to have stuck-up, dripless babies that won't know how to tie their shoes or wipe their ass. But next, the diapers will be scarier than shit. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have blinking lights and tones. Ding. Time for a change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just wait till those little batteries get wet. They'll sound like Chucky. And change, 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 change. <laughs> yeah, and when those Velcro fasteners don't work, then there's my book, 101 Uses for Duct Tape. <laughs> if the kid's a real screamer, it's real effective. Just <laughs> tie up the, tape up the book and throw it at them. <laughs> You know, uh, next, I forgot where I was at. Oh, no, we talked about Chucky. So, uh, <laughs> we don't sterilize baby bottles anymore. No, we, we wipe off grocery cart handles and doorknobs with disinfectants. And we don't handshake either, we nod. We're out of touch. I avoid people. I prefer electronics, yeah. I don't understand why a Bluetooth goes in your ear and not your mouth. <laughs> but I'm lucky. My 14-year-old grandson is my computer expert. And he knows all the cool websites for bath salts and knives and <laughs> cool shoes on Zuli for 14. I have to keep him away from my match.com. He likes to fish. And he also likes to fix my profile. I found out when I had nasty messages from risque women and the police. So I stay away from the computers now. I love jogging. Um, and I love joggers. I met some of my greatest dates that way. Running after the paramedics in the park, laying down in the road in front of them. I learned to stay off the psychopaths. I got real excited when I was invited to run for the pines. Yeah, run for saving the trees up north. I went online and I bought shorts, two sizes too small, wicking underwear, good thing I don't have periods, and awesome shoes. Well, I spent more than a prom dress. When I got up there, fuck me, it was a car show. I should have been wearing leather and denims instead of looking like Richard Simmons on hormones. <laughs> What's a girl to do? Oh hell, I hung out with the bearded gearheads. They didn't have appreciation for vintage chassis. <laughs> Either that or it was my skimpy short showing all my parts. 
manifold, firewall, <laughs> pressure clamps. My game was torquing the tools in the rumble seats. The truth is, guys are like cars. Yeah, the oldies but goodies are sometimes all show and no go. And my rule is, first, row test them, see what breaks off. Vintage <laughs> <laughs> or not, you'll always stay young. If you jog, jog wickedly. Be careful what you swallow and lie about your age. That's my time.